can only hope wherever he is, he's seeing this. Interwebs, Lost Trekkie here. I just wanted to do a quick video uh, about my thoughts on the CW's new Superman on Supergirl, played by Tyler Hecklin. Um, I've been usually uh, I'm a more of a Batman fan, but within the past few months, just sort of like dealing with stuff that's coming up in my life, I've actually been weirdly way more interested in Superman lately and learning a lot more about the Superman mythos and reading a lot of like classic Superman stories like uh, Red Sun or um, All-Star Superman um, and things like that and getting really into learning more about Superman and what does Superman mean. So, at the same time, while I'm going through all these Superman things, um, this weekend I actually, actually recently rewatched uh, Batman v Superman. And, well, oh, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, sorry, I have to say the full and complete title. Um, and it just brought to the forefront of how much I really don't like Henry Cavill's Superman, or I should say more, Zack Snyder's Superman. Because I don't really think it's Henry Cavill's fault. Um, but it's really brought to the fore my issues with the Batman v Superman, the DC Cinematic Universe Superman. Uh, especially when brought up against Tyler Hecklin Superman, who is actually really, uh, in my opinion, quite amazing on the CW show Supergirl. Uh, some of the major problems that I have with the Batman v Superman, uh, Henry Cavill Superman, is, first off, there's no joy. It's sort of a larger problem with the um, larger DC cinematic universe, but there's there's no joy in Henry Cavill's Superman. He's uh, sort of this reluctant hero. He he feels like he's forced to do every single thing that he does. In in Batman v Superman, he he seems just begrudging and kind of hates that he has to. Oh my God, I have to go and save more people now. Ugh, what a drag. It it, it just. It feels kind of like, oh, he hates his job and he hates that he has to do it. And the movie hates him for it. Like, everyone seems to hate that he does these things. And so it's sort of like, why are you even bothering? Why don't you listen to your father, like in Man of Steel, and not be Superman? Because apparently no one gives a crap. And no one seems to really care uh, that you're Superman in your universe. And that's one of the things that I really like about Tyler Hecklin's Superman and uh, the Supergirl Superman, because he really seems to have a lot of joy, just absolute love doing the things that he's doing. Like, I remember the the opening of this episode 2 of season 2 of Supergirl starts with a montage of Supergirl and Superman just going around the city, saving different problems, and actually having fun doing it. They have fun, you know, stay, stopping a fire. They have fun stopping a bank robbery. They make jokes. They seem to tag team it. They really love what they're doing, and that just kind of feels nice. I've dreamt of this moment, two of us teaming up. <laughs> Me too. I usually say hi. Me too. Way to go, Supergirl. That's Superman. I used to change his diapers. No way. <laughs> uh, not exactly sure you have to tell them that. No, I think I, I really did. Um, I'm not saying that things... Uh, this is a problem with, uh, you know, Batman v Superman and sort of the DC Cinematic Universe in general is... I'm not saying you can't go dark. In fact, a lot of my favorite uh, comics, like I'm a huge Batman fan, Batman is obviously dark. But the problem with darkness is if you are constantly in that mode of dark, 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 everything is sad and terrible, then you never get a chance to really breathe and enjoy and, and like actually feel the happy times. You need the happy times to make the dark times darker. Like at the end of the film of Batman v Superman, and spoilers here, when Superman dies and the world seems to be really upset like they have this nice fu they have this big funeral for him everyone seems to be really upset for superman i don't feel that because up until this point there hasn't been a single person not a single person in the batman v superman world that seems to have wanted superman there in the first place so when he dies i'm sort of like why are people not cheering like the only sense that i get that people actually cared about what superman did for them was they gave him a begrudging statue 
like there's a statue of him that just like seems like no one they've kind of had to give him one no one seems to really like him and in supergirl and super uh, the Superman and Supergirl, and Supergirl herself. I, I don't want to take Supergirl out of this because it is her show. Um, it just, you know, comparing Superman to Superman is sort of an easy comparison. But uh, people seem to love them, actually care. And yes, they have a negative critical response. Like there's a few times in the first season of Supergirl where people are like, oh yeah, Supergirl did this bad thing and we don't like her. And that actually hurts more because we've seen when people love her. So when we see when people love her and then she loses that love it hurts more but if we just spend an entire movie being like oh yeah superman sucks god saving us again what the hell you spend that whole time then i don't feel bad when you suddenly turn around on him or when you suddenly feel it like you hate him even more it's like the beginning of the movie oh i hate him and then you come back when the capitol building blows up and you hate him even more oh good we've gone from hate to even more hate like that's a great character evolution for or a great like world view it just it, it it's just really disappointing and another thing that i really want to uh mention about the difference between these two superman is is, is there's a range in tyler hecklin's superman you go you, know, you get to see a, a a Superman who's really strong and confident, and then you see him, like, bumbling, messing up with stuff, and then also having sort of, like, uh, he, like, drops folders and actually says, like, oh, no, that was an actual thing. I didn't mean to do that. It wasn't just an act. Uh, like the Christopher Reeve Superman would have. Christopher Reeve Superman would very much be, like, bumbling over himself as a joke. He makes, he almost makes him his his alter ego a joke for the fun of it. Whereas Tyler Hacklin seems to actually be sort of klutzy, even though he's, like, this strong, uh, confident superman which is actually kind of cool to see and then you also see him sort of uh being a family man talking about being with lois um but also like really being kind of emotional talking with supergirl about krypton and how he doesn't really get to know krypton and, and missing that chance to like know his his family and then also doing political stuff when he's talking to martian manhunter about kryptonite it's there's a range of things that he's doing as opposed to the one face that henry cavill makes the entire batman v superman movie you know he's with lois he's making this mm, face you know he's um having sex with lois he's making them mm, face he's beating up people he's making a mm, face he's at a thing lex luther's ball he's making the mm face that's henry cavill has one damn face the entire movie and there's no range he just doesn't feel like an actual person he doesn't feel like a character he feels like a symbol he's just a overarching jesus metaphor or america metaphor or who the fuck knows metaphor anything the only thing he's, he is isn't is a character um and that's just really a problem and so, uh, in the end, I just really, really enjoy Supergirl's take on Superman because it just seems like they really have a handle on what the character actually means. And I'm, again, I'm not saying that you can't do realism and you can't go for these sort of grander themes with Superman. I mean, Supergirl, uh, yes, it's a happy and I like the tone of it better and I like the characterization better, but yeah, it's not exactly hard-hitting science fiction. But Batman v Superman tried to masquerade as hard-hitting fiction without actually trying to give us any nuance to their ideas. It was just sort of like, here's these great, big, kind of pretentious ideas, and we're not going to actually really go into the nuances of what we're trying to say. We're just going to say it and be like, oh yeah, it's Superman. Um, and I also think like they hide behind the argument, it's like, oh, it's more realistic. We're trying to be like, what would Superman be like in the real world? So why is the one thing that you take away from, oh, to be realistic, he has to be depressed? Like, the unrealistic thing was that he happened to be a nice guy. Like, <laughs> that's the unrealistic thing. Superman's nice. That's just totally unrealistic. And so even though Supergirl lives in this big fantasy world of, like, dealing, fighting Metallo and fighting all these weird things, oddly the Superman of that world feels more real because he feels like a character he feels like a person he has range he goes through different emotions and he feels like an actual character instead of just being this weird symbol that ends up really kind of feeling shallow anyways so yeah in a weird way despite all its craziness supergirl actually feels more realistic than batman v superman uh and I think that's a bit larger problem with media in general. We seem to think that being realistic means being depressing. 
And that's kind of a depressing thought when you think about it. It's like, reality sucks and we should all be depressed. Because that was sort of the message of Batman v Superman is superheroes are bad and they mean nothing and Superman superheroes are horrible people and we should all feel bad for liking them. And I don't think that's like not even just a good message for a superhero film. It's just depressing look at the world. And I really kind of like how Supergirl gives us a positive view of the world. And that's why I like the show in general, and that's why I like Tyler Hecklin's Superman. So, anyways, thank you for listening to my quick ramble on uh, Superman and Supergirl's portrayal of Superman, and I hope you took some fun things away from it. In fact, I was thinking that I'd stick around for a little while. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't realize how nice it was to be around someone like me, you know? Just to be with family. Me too. <laughs>